Welcome to E39 Source. We're going to be using these first few clips in a couple of different videos, just a heads up. We're working in a late 01, it's an October 2001, 2002 model year BMW E46 330XI. Um, depending on which video you clicked, you'll either be seeing the auxiliary, adding auxiliary to the CD business uh, radio player in here. So we're going to take that out, radio CD player. Uh, or we're going to be replacing these two doors here in the center console. To remove the radio, we need some sort of a pry tool. If you're super worried about your wood trim, don't do this. In fact, this probably isn't too wise. But uh, we're just going to pry it under there, and it's going to come out like that. And pull straight forwards, or it should have. That might be sandwiched yeah. within that one. So we're going to remove this one as well. If you put your pry tool under there far enough, you're not going to crack the trim. Um, I'll actually I'll just pull this off the rest of the way and show you that uh, the wood trim in the E46 is very different than that in the E39 in the way, look at that, you would have to pry really hard to damage that. I know you guys were just cringing watching me do that because you're used to the E39, but this stuff is a lot more heavy duty. So with the two pieces of trim removed, we're going to find two Phillips head screws that are responsible for, responsible for holding in the BMW Business CD player. Um, we're going to find our, our uh, Phillips head, pull those out, and then the radio is just going to slide out. All right, go ahead and pull that out, Kenan. We'll see the um, connectors in the back um, for adding the auxiliary. This connector here so we can take it off. Well, this one's super easy. You just pinch the end of it and pull it off right like that. This one over here is a little bit more complicated. I believe I've done this about eight times, and every time I have to relearn. We're going to pull it up very hard. Pull it up hard without breaking it and then slide it off. The idea is when you pull this on this side, see these channels here, it, it, rela it raises the connector up and off of the radio. So I just need to reseat that piece of plastic and it'll be good as new. With the radio out and with this harness, uh, we're going to take a look at the actual auxiliary kit that we have here. The part number for the auxiliary kit on the E46 is 8211014938. Uh, it's about $30 comes with some instructions, the actual cable you need, some zip ties, a little face plate, some screws. We're going to be putting the auxiliary connector inside of the dashboard, running that through. I don't know how much fun that's going to be, probably a lot. Um, but here is the radio connector that you saw before that we took off the radio. And what we're going to be doing is adding um, a cable included right there in on the left side. So in order to do that, you're going to see there's not a lot of wire to work with here. With that part slid all the way out of the way, we've got this little blue thing right there. And we need to pry that out. That's going to release the uh, accessory ports to the back of the radio. So we'll pry that out and um, go on from there. So that blue thing there, we're just going to drop the new gray connector in right there and slide the blue thing back. Noting that these things need to come down so they're flush with the big main radio round uh, connectors. If you try to make these flush with the black plastic, it won't work. So make it look like that. We'll slide the blue thing back in place. At this point, we're going to hook this up to the radio, get an auxiliary cable, plug it in there, ensure that it works through the radio before continuing. Radios produced after September of 2002 will support auxiliary. Radios produced before likely won't. What you'll need to do is find the part number here. Type that in Google, do a bit of research, go to E46 Fanatics and figure out if that part number is going to, f going to work with auxiliary. Uh, one of the things you're going to want to look at is the production date of the radio. This is a November of 06. Um, so definitely that's going to support the auxiliary, um, Sirius radio, MP3, ID3 tags if uh, the 6 disc exists in your trunk. Um, so this is good. This actually came with this car and this car is a 10 of 01. So I got really lucky with that. But pull yours out, see what it is. If it's a 902 or later, it will support the auxiliary. So we're going to plug this up, test it now. Just turn the radio on, cycle through your mode function here. We're going to find um, that's FM. There's no disc in the player. There's aux. So take a cable like this, plug it into your cable, plug it into your phone, hit play, and you should hear it. Uh, one of the things you should note on here is if you press your little music note here to go into your settings, adjust your bass, treble, fader, and balance as you like, but then there's the auxiliary level, somewhere between 1 and 5, or 0 and 5. So figure out where uh, the volume is going to match. If the volume is on 100% on your phone or Droid or iPod or whatever you're using, you want it to be about the same volume as the radio would be. So adjust that accordingly, make it match, and you'll be good to go. So at this point, um, we're going to turn the radio off since we know it works, and we're going to work on routing the cable 
um, obviously not the blue cable, but that into the glove box. So we'll let you know how to do that. So to remove the glove box, it's similar to the E39, but not exact yet. Open it up. You're going to find on the right side there's a strap that keeps it from going too far. On the left there's a strut that makes it open slowly. Instead of circlips, it's got these plastic little rivets. One side has a lip, the other side kind of expands once you press it in there. So pry that out with a flathead screwdriver in your fingers or you can use a pry tool if you can get it to fit back there. But that's going to leave the glove box very floppy. Uh, so I'm just going to let it fall down like that. Here's this other clip kind of. Um, probably a good idea to take whatever stuff you have in there out and we'll figure out what's connecting it here at the bottom. In the footwell, you're gonna find four Phillips head screws holding this on the bottom of the glove box. In that center channel is the uh, hinge for it. So just remove the four Phillips, open up the glove box, it'll fall off in your hands. That's gonna give you the access you need to remove some of this interior paneling to make room for the cable to come through. The worst part of this job is gonna be getting the cable into the glove box area through uh, this piece of the dashboard here. So with the radio still out and hanging by its wire, and this piece pushed out and also hanging by its wire, you're gonna wanna reach back there, shove your hand way back up in here, and uh, you're actually gonna remove about three Phillips screws from the glove box ceiling in here, just so you can pry it down about like that. I removed one from right here, one from right here, and one from back by the flashlight adapter. Uh, pull that down and just poke around until you can feel your fingers, one hand there, one hand here shove the wire through, and Kenan's gonna tell you what to do next in a few minutes. Down here in the, um, the glove box well, I guess we can call it, when I put, pulled the, uh, the wire through from the back of the radio, I was able to fish for it right there where my left index finger is. Uh, from there, take out as many screws as you need so the ceiling of this is loose like that. And then you can work it up right behind this piece of dashboard trim. So you have it like this, and there's plenty of, of extra cable. So I just even poked a little bit back in there. I'll show you right now what Kenan's doing over with the glove box. Uh, Swoot that out of the car. On this side, you're gonna take a drill and drill with uh, one of your smaller bits, two small holes. Yeah, just, I don't know exactly what size that is, but I think I said let 330 seconds is the size you wanna use. Something like that. Drill two small holes, that's gonna be for the face plate. So then it comes with some screws, um, thread those in, uh, like such, so it stays. So then what we're gonna do, we're gonna run the auxiliary cable up here, poke it through the hole. We're obviously gonna need a much larger drill bit uh, to, to bore out, yeah, about a half inch drill, belt, drill bit to bore out the hole in the glove box to poke it in there, the auxiliary cable in the car, and then this little washer here is gonna screw on this side of it to keep it in there. And then you'll just need a, a, a foot or two long male to male auxiliary cable uh, to live in your glove box, so. Uh, we'll keep you updated with this process. Okay, this is pretty simple. Um, drill a hole there big enough to fit the cable through, push the cable through, thread that washer on this side of it. Over here, we're gonna drill two very small holes right there to run a zip tie through, and then zip tie the wire there uh, like such. So now we're going to reinstall the glove box, same as we uninstalled it, press the, or push the extra wire back into the dashboard of the car ensure that it opens and closes freely, and then we'll tighten everything back up. So we're done with adding the auxiliary to the E46. Uh, it was a pretty easy process. Uh, the hardest part was probably just removing the glove box and fishing the wire out through here, but uh, it wasn't actually that bad. So at this point in time now, we open up the glove box, we find the wire that we added. You're going to need a male-to-male -male auxiliary cable, something like that, obviously one end. Just going to plug into the wire that we installed from the radio. The other end, you can do a lot of different things with. This is that product I've been telling you guys about that I'll probably be doing a review on. Um, it's Bluetooth auxiliary. So once I start the car, this thing comes to life, connects to my iPhone, my iPhone Bluetooth, or my iPhone plays music via Bluetooth to this, which then outputs the audio to the auxiliary, um, which then of course goes to the stereo. But more than likely, you'll simply plug this into your iPhone, iPod, Android, uh, potato or watermelon or whatever you're gonna be using to play music. And then of course, over here, we can punch our mode button to get to auxiliary and we can listen to that music. So in fact, it may be connected to my iPhone depending on where that's plugged in right now. So if I plug that in, it is. So I plug that in and wirelessly my phone's playing. I will do a separate video, a little review on this product, but here's my 5S and it's playing um, Sgt. Pepper's album, and now help. So, works really well. And that's the uh, auxiliary 
uh, retrofit to the E46 BMW 3 Series. Good luck. Thanks for watching. Leave me some comments. Bye-bye.